Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and this is my review of Fate Samurai Remnants 3 DLC packs, which come with the game's Season Pass, the last of which just came out today, at the time I'm recording this. Disclaimer time, I received a copy of the base game from Koei and the DLCs as well. That out of the way, let's get to it. All three DLCs are accessed from the map screen once you've cleared chapter 2 or 3 in the main story. Probably best to do them once you've beaten the game. Once you're in New Game Plus, you can access all of them in chapter 2. They don't exactly spoil the end of the game, but they hint to things, and I would say it's kind of implied that you had knowledge of the end game when you're doing them. All DLCs, though, are somewhat what if scenarios. Outside of maybe unlocking new things for the campaign, they don't have a huge influence or impact on it. They are extra scenarios. The first DLC is a tournament arc, you could say. This one is short but replayable. You play through the tournament consisting of three to five battles with different teams of Master and Servant. Iori and Saber, of course, but almost all the other teams of Master and Servant as well, including, notably, Ryder. This DLC adds uh, three playable characters, including the aforementioned Ryder, who I believe wasn't playable prior to this DLC. It also adds a few bonus battle recollections and a new skill for Iori, as well as a link attack with Saber. Overall, it's a short DLC if you play through it once, but if you play through all the different routes, then it's the longest one. It's fun to see how they interact, and everyone gets their own what-if endings for this DLC as well. It would have been nice to see a few more interactions between the cast, but overall, it's a fairly light-hearted DLC. The second DLC is a far more story-focused and somewhat more serious in tone. It adds a new playable character, a new skill for Iori, as well as a new skill tree. Hard to talk about this one without going into spoilers, but it involves the hunt for a Hitogiri Manslayer in Edo. It's around two to three hours long, a bit shorter than the first, but with more unique content as you aren't playing through the same tournament multiple times from different perspectives. It allows you to level up, whereas most of the tournament DLC you can't level up in. It's kind of completely separate. It doesn't impact your primary save in terms of gaining EXP and items so much. The third and final DLC is similar in nature to the second, story-focused DLC which adds two new characters along with new skills for Saber. New workshop upgrades, new battle recollections, new items, new weapon mountings and such. In terms of length, it is similar to the second DLC, a bit longer, I'd say around three hours, maybe four, and considerably longer if you want to grind out all the new workshop features and items. This time, you'll be investigating the mysterious abductions of children from across Edo, seemingly focused in Yoshiwara. As with the second DLC, it allows you to level up. Overall, the first DLC and the third are the best for fan service, whereas the second DLC had the most serious plot, with the most connections in regards to Iori and his developments. The tournament is quite light-hearted, the third DLC it's not like a joke or anything, there's some serious moments and some cool moments, but it's slightly lighter in tone than the second. It has more comedy. It's also worth pointing out again, the tournament adds two entirely new characters to play as, as does the third DLC. Second DLC only adds one character, but it adds a few new things for Yori to make up for it. If you enjoyed the base game, I think you'll enjoy all three of these DLCs, as they add well, more of the same, with a few new twists on things and some new fun characters, but the gameplay remains largely the same as the base game. Nothing drastically different there. I'd say my favourite was the third DLC, but a big part of that is the identity of one of the new characters, which I will not spoil here. At any rate, if you have any questions, ask them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.